Oliver, que bella. Oliver, que bella. Okay. What do you think? They're too small. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you know anything about me, you know I'm a sucker for marketing. And you probably know I do lots of men's shaving and grooming product reviews. I've also done car reviews, travel, food, and other assorted silliness. In fact, I can easily be had by the people that make ads. Now, if you don't know anything about the channel, welcome. And I hope at the end of this video, you'll want to click subscribe. Oliver K. Bell. Now, this is a shoe that's been targeted to me over and over on Instagram and social. It's just really nice. This is a... Uh, an Italian made, very nice silhouette, clean white silhouette. And my friend, Shaver Boy 516, I'm gonna have to give him credit for noticing that a lot of shoes today are derived from that clean Stan Smith silhouette. And these Oliver Capel shoes are just that. Now they look very nice and sporty, but not too sporty, kind of have a dress feel to it, especially in today's world. So you can rock them as I am here with my jeans, but you could also put a pair of dress slacks and get away with it as well. Beautiful, fresh look to them. Very, very nice. All right guys, so you know they're stylish, but are they comfortable? I'm gonna put them through a real world test to find out. Nice, Rachel. Rachel is wearing her Hoka Clifton nines in white, on white. And they are not white anymore. She's been in these shoes now come over here let me show you something come on over here put your right foot that foot right foot right here on daddy all right so we just got these shoes and i mean i know she's wearing them on the tennis court and everywhere yeah it feels uncomfortable it feels uncomfortable but look the sole is coming off on these clifton so i don't know i mean i may need to call hoka because i don't think they should be separating like that She's got a fresh outfit. Look at her drip. Let me see your drip. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I like that. All right. Wait, Dad. Say goodbye. Wait, Dad. What? Oh, uh, do you think we can go to it? Oh, stop it. If you know anything about me, you know I'm a sucker. 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 Sucker, sucker. for marketing. I'm making coffee in the morning. I'm gonna be honest with you, the Knicks are really bad for my mentals. Hey, but I'm gonna start off this uh, real world review of these Oliver K. Bell Low One Brutes because I was asked a question about the comfort of these shoes. And no one's really disputing that they look good, but the viewer asked me how they felt. So I'm gonna do five days in a row, kind of a real world test to see if these ever get comfortable. So here goes, day one after a loss, crippling loss by my beloved New York Knicks. All right, let's go. Yeah, it would be kind of like good, but emphasize, yeah, yeah, like that. So as you can see here, I'm chilling at work, waiting for my boss, the Monday morning meeting. And I do look fresh, but, We'll see later when I go out for my walk just how comfortable or uncomfortable these shoes will be. All right, so I've been making a concerted effort for the last couple of weeks to get 10,000 steps a day. It really helps to maintain your weight you know, calories in, calories out. And uh, this is the first time I'm doing this walk in these 
shoes, sneakers, whatever you want to call them. Now, day one of wearing them, and they're a little stiff, but not terrible, not terrible. But it's certainly, a 10,000 steps a day will certainly help to break these puppies in if they can be broken in. So again, one of the comments from a viewer said that he had purchased these shoes could never get them to be comfy. And you know, they are a very nice looking silhouette. And they are a little stiff. So we'll see. As I'm walking, I was just thinking, the interesting part about having to break these shoes in is because the look of this is sort of a worn look. So there are scratches that are put in purposely. There's a little bit of a, a color shading on the sole that looks worn, but you actually have to break them in <laughs> to get the feel form versus function. All right, I just thought that was interesting. About a minute and a half into my walk. They're very flat. So they have a very flat bottom. And there's no cushion to speak of. So trim or slim silhouette. Not a lot of cushion. Not the most comfortable shoe you want to be walking in, to be honest with you. Okay, so about 12 minutes in to the walk. And if I'm being honest, they haven't gotten any more comfortable. Now I'll say they haven't gotten any less comfortable. But you just think a sneaker should be comfortable, huh? All right, I'm gonna wind this walk down and come back later with more. So it's the end of the day and I can't wait to get these shoes off my feet. <laughs> oh man, wow. Again, very nice looking shoe. Uh, just not a comfortable shoe, at least for day number one. And again, I'll show you the distressed look, the scratches that come brand new out of the box. This leather is nice and supple. Not a lot of problems in the back. So comfortable enough around the ankle. Just a very flat, unforgiving sole. And in the toe box, right around here, right on these like pressure points. Now, the recommendation for the shoe is to go up a size or a half size. They don't sell them in half sizes, at least online. So I'm typically a nine and a half. So a recommendation is to go with a 10. And it was a solid recommendation. A, a nine would have been way too tight. Um, and also, untied is the way to rock these. I don't really think out of the box I would have been able to tie these up. So I'd have to get longer laces if I want to tie them up. And that didn't really add to just the lack of comfort. So, all right, day one in the books. I'll come back with a few more days and hopefully they'll get a little bit more comfortable. But for right now, I'm just as happy as a pig in shit that I'm out of them. I'm a sucker. 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 Sucker for marketing. So as much as I dread it, day two, I'm gonna get these back on and see if I can get them to loosen up a bit. All right, 
right, so pro tip, I actually tied up the shoes and they feel a lot better. So maybe I'm on to something here. Use as directed. Oops. Use as directed. All right, day two is over. And again, although I've made some strides today, pun intended, by tying them, I'm still glad to get them off. <laughs> so I'm going to do this for five days. And we'll find out if these are good looking and comfortable enough to wear. You know, form versus function. But, ah. 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 Can't wait to put these away for right now and get ready for the next game. Go Knicks. Okay, so I took a few days off, but now I'm back at it. Now, so far, this will be day three, wearing these dress sneakers. And uh, day two changed the game just a little bit. So out of the box, they come untied. And I've gone ahead and tied up the laces which helped tremendously with comfort. Still not the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn, but they're not advertised that way. It, but you know, when you look at a anything dress or anything sneaker related, you want some level of comfort so day three, it's a rainy day outside here on Long Island. We're going to take them out much, much better. And they still look fresh. So let's go. So day three in these shoes, and I'm going to tell you, I've been a, real busy today. So I really haven't got a, a sense that I'm wearing shoes, which is a good thing. So tying the laces, and just going about my activity has really, really improved the feel of these shoes. So they look great and they feel good enough and they're certainly not hurting anymore. So I'm out doing my steps again. My goal is to do 10,000 steps a day to kind of reduce some of this uh, little tire I've developed around my midsection through COVID. So trending in the right direction. But I still have two days left to make my total sort of opinion, average guy, tested opinion on these shoes. But trending in the right direction get out and step around guys get your steps up it's really windy right now so the audio might be a little weak halfway through my walk these are not walking shoes by any stretch of the imagination they're very hot uh, really no cushion to speak of very flat uh, inner sole and outer sole no spring my feet are barking I'm ready to get back to the office and uh, sit down a little bit but much much more comfortable than days one or two I'll, I'll give it give you that just not the kind of shoe you want to be taking a long stroll in. All right. Just keeping it real. Just keeping it real.
Halfway through, can't wait till this walk is over. Sucker. 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 Sucker for marketing. All right, guys, I set out to do five days, but I just couldn't do it. The shoes hurt so much, right? Yeah. The shoes hurt so damn much, <laughs> I couldn't get through five days. So I'm just keeping it real, guys. Yeah, just keeping it real. Yeah, he's keeping it real, y'all. I'm keeping it real. He's also, it's I lay down the money so you don't have to. Now, if you're looking for a beautiful pair of shoes for an event, a night out, maybe going out for some drinks or a casual dinner with a nice pair of dark jeans, and you don't really have to walk too much, stand up too much, these are some beautiful shoes. And if you're a collector, like I am, these are beautiful shoes to include in your shoe den. But I'll tell you what, guys, it's a hell of a lot of money for a pair of sneakers that are not comfortable. So that's it. I hope you've gotten something out of this video. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Look for shaving reviews, car reviews, food, travel, and all other assorted silliness. There's only one channel on YouTube that has all of these varieties of content. And that's my channel. Come back and see me. Average guy tested. I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. God, the sun is getting me. Keep pushing play. Keep pushing play, y'all.